Ahoy, shipmates! Would you believe it? It's a film about ships. I know it's been a while. I've been slightly distracted with other land-based activities. Red Arrows, D-Day, commemorations, endless discussions about cream teas and whether the clotted cream goes first or the jam goes first. But more importantly, this is a brand new ship here in the Port of Southampton. It is the Silver Seas Silver Ray. Silver Seas is Royal Caribbean's super luxury cruise line. Silver Ray has capacity for 728 guests, crew of 544, built in 2024. This is a first time into the Port of Southampton and a gross tonnage of 54,700. Building on the success of the Silver Nova, built in 2023, Silver Seas has commissioned the Silver Ray, the second of the Nova class cruise ships. Silver Ray is Silver Seas' second Nova class ship. Silver Ray mirrors every aspect of a sister ship, Silver Nova, including a pioneering asymmetrical design and extraordinary use of glass in both public areas and suites for uninterrupted views wherever you are. I've got a bit of an uninterrupted view here. As she enters port. Not bad. A bit windy this morning, I have to say. It was blowing the drone rather around. Quite pleasant temperature-wise. Uh, it was very sunny. Uh, Silver Ray arrived a little later than I was expecting, hence my tardiness down in port. So a little bit rushed getting these shots. Following the sil similar colour scheme to the Silver Nova, she has a lovely colour to the hull. I'm not sure what colour you'd call that. Some sort of cement or... Oh, no, it's not ivory. I don't know. Definitely got a nice colour. Breaks up the design. As you would expect from a luxury ship, there are restaurants on board. In fact, there are quite a few restaurants on board. I was surprised at how many. You have the Salt Chef's Table, the Salt Kitchen, the Atlantide, Le Teresa, La Dame, Kai Seki, Silver Notes, The Marquis, The Grill, and last but not least, Spacanapoli, which serves up slices of Naples' deliciously fresh pizza. I had to keep this flight fairly short as it was really windy out there this morning. Try for another shot. I think I'm out of practice, gotta be honest. I do like the inclusion of that dash of magenta there at the far end of the port from the one innovation. Not sure if you can quite get the scale from here, but silver ray is quite small compared to the cruise ships we see in port. But then again, it is very high-end luxury cruising. For a relatively small ship, there are certainly lots to do in the public areas. There's a pool deck, a dusk bar, an arts cafe, the salt bar, the salt lab, shelter, Dolce Vita, Panama Lounge, the Connoisseur's Corner, the Observation Lounge, the Venetian Lounge, the Atrium, the Boutique, Optimum Spa, Casino, and last but not least, the Fitness Center. Probably need to go to the Fitness Center after all those restaurants. Well, oh, hope you've all enjoyed that one, shipmate. An unusual ship to see in port, not back again for a long time, and a brand new arrival. Shows you just the variety of the ships we have here in port. Well, till next time, shipmates.